Hello everyone and welcome back to STEM Sprouts. My name is Miss Courtney and today we're going to be learning about batteries. So you might have seen these before. So this is a battery um, and usually we put them in toys and other things that make noise. Um, we also put them in our smoke detectors to keep us safe from fires. Um, so these batteries have chemicals in them that create the electricity and electricity helps run a bunch of different stuff. But today we are going to be using a household chemical to make our own battery. So the things you will need will be um, a pair of scissors or wire cutters, a piece of copper wire, an LED light bulb, a small one like this will work, some screws or nails, vinegar, and an ice cube tray. So what we're going to do first is we are going to use some of our vinegar and you want to fill up um, at least four squares in your ice cube tray, but they need to be close together. I've already pre-filled mine. You want to fill them up almost to the top, but not quite to the top. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my copper wire and my nail and I'm going to wrap it around three times, two, three, like this. And I want to leave a little bit of a tail. So I'm going to use my scissors and cut it. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. And then I'm going to put the nail in one compartment. And I want to set my copper wire into the compartment next to it that has vinegar in it as well. And you want to do this so you have one in each of your little ice cube spots. So I have a few made up already. And I'm going to set them in here. So I have the screw in one and the copper wire in the other. There we go. So vinegar is a conductor and it creates electricity. So right now, there it's a half a circle, so it's not completely closed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our light bulbs in this circuit. And if it lights up when we add it, then we have it the right way. If it's not, you can turn it the other way. Let's see, sometimes mine takes a little bit of time. And you have to make sure that the wires and the copper aren't touching each other. Oh, my light bulb turned on. And it might be a little tricky at first. You might have to move the nails around. Or you might need to shorten yours. I think I need to shorten mine just a little bit, so I'm just gonna wind it up a little more. And I'll give you a closer look at mine. So it's a little bit hard to see, but my light is actually glowing green. So you have to make sure that the nails and the copper don't touch each other in each container. But it will light up your light bulb. So electricity is made in this battery. Uh, because the two metals, the copper and the metal in the nails, um, they touch and they release electrodes, um, which make electricity when connected to electrolytes. And vinegar has electrolytes in it. So the electrodes are being passed through the vinegar, um, through the nails, all the way to our light bulb here. With that, I can turn on and off. So I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson today. 
Um, I hope you try to make your own battery at home. Otherwise, we'll see you next time for STEM Sprouts.